welcome in to another episode of Shade House. Shade House is a place where we have six sims who live together. We observe their actions and we watch the drama and the nonsense and the shenanigans unfold. Last week, uh, the bees are very mad around the house. They are attacking everybody. So we need to bond heavily with the bees so they stop fighting everyone and being so goddamn punchy. We met all the new members. There is Sean Cody, who is hooking up with neighbor Shingo already. We met Abby B. Miller and Wander Bread, who are both dating each other already. They are the first couple to come into the house, which is very cool. We have Kate Denson, who is here until the new year. We have Felatio, who is on an important case at his job right now. He is a detective very cool to see him and very cool to do that uh, line of work and we also have Rebecca Moore from last season who is still working on herself this week I'm excited to see what happens in the house of shade let's get into it A Friday all the members are coming home after their long days out we're gonna check in on Rebecca Moore who's feeling very uncomfortable while making some grilled fruit she is having not a Baja blast she's having a Baja bad time but this grilled fruit is gonna make everything so much better as soon as she grabs a serving Sean Cody's awake looking like a snack he's so cute what do you think he's listening to? Do you think he's listening to the rise and fall of the Roman Empire on audiobook? Or do you think he's listening to Physical by Dula Peep? Autotune actually had this exact same aspiration and we were never able to finish it. My hope would be that we can finish this with you. Y'all getting free feet right here. Free feet on main. Also, I like that I made his so big that the headphones literally disappear. Today is pride. People want to drink. They want to go dancing. They want to see fireworks. They want to get in the spirit of pride and they would like to woohoo with someone special. It seems like this was something that was built for him. Shingo came in his best sleeveless jacket. Hello, Zaddy. Well, we're checking off one thing. Woohoo is someone special today. Mortimer Goth says the skin is the best part of the meat. Did you think I was talking about something else? Oh, Mortimer Goth, what the fuck is wrong with you? What? God. <laughs> what the heck? We're here at the nightclub. We want to dance. We want to go out dancing. Yes, you better get down, girl. You better get down. You're going to take a photo of the club. Oh, fierce! Oh, that's fierce, Kate Denson! I'm obsessed with you. Ooh, Rebecca's drink of choice is a rum and coke. I knew I loved her. I knew that she was an icon. It looks like Kate's kind of getting swarmed, though. Although, I don't think she's bothered. I think Kate's kind of eaten this up. She came to Shade House to get a little break from everything. Oh, poor Wonder Bread is feeling so sick. Kate hyping everybody up. Kate getting into the groove over here. She's inciting cheers and no one's cheering. Let's just go ahead and just sit down. Share pride spirit with our roommates. Jolene Cuisine just lost their shit about Kate Denson. <laughs> Sean says you're a really fun person, Kate. It's so, it's nice having you around. I'm glad that Kate's here. Juan's getting a phone call from someone. Uh, so this is gonna sound crazy. I know we're friends and all, but, well, okay, here it goes. I have a crush on you. Woo! Okay, it's out there. Um, so would you want to go out with me sometime? You're super cool. 
I really want to hang out with you more. Who the fuck is this? It's Pride. What better time to, to engage with someone that you like than on Pride? Wonder Bread is bi, but one is in a committed relationship. This could be some really great drama. Maybe one will like be like, you know what? I'm gonna go hang out and let's let's figure out what this is and and let's just chat. But also I'm gonna like kind of give you the lowdown. I'm not really interested. But then he gets there and he finds out that this cutie with the mustache is like ideal partner material. After like just a few minutes, they already know. And they're like, How do I break this to Abby? And so they spend all this time and they meet up with them on the side and they're like secret lovers. And then he goes back to Abby and says, I'm so sorry, I've got to break up with you. And it's the most dramatic thing. And she says, it's okay. I'm also in love with the mustache boy. And like, they've been messing around with the same mustache boy. Let's go, you know what? Let's go meet this person. Let's just, let's just see what happens. Really? That's so awesome. I'm so happy. I worked with courage to ask you. Let me know what works for you and we'll go out. So here we are with Kazuhiko. Let's just chat out in the rain. Should I give Kazuhiko a makeover? You have a child? Not anymore. Oh, he left. Well, let's go back to the bar. Should we talk to Abby about that weird date? He's, he feels bad about going on a date with some random man that just texted him out of nowhere. What a very boring kiss. Okay, let's, let's head back home. Abby B. Miller stopped to get a phone call. It's a friend. She's feeling drifting love. Is she getting the 411 right now? That one went out with somebody else? What if she knows? What if her phone call right now is someone who saw Wonderbread on that random little date and saw him with this cute guy? out in the middle of nowhere and she was like so that's where he ran off to and she feels that love drifting but she can't say anything yet it was grinder grinder knows all the tea do you see the way that she laughed it off and then got embarrassed she fully is aware of what's happening not you being completely nude walking through the house <laughs> Who made this nasty coffee? And she's so unbothered. And now he's cleaning the coffee pot while there's still drink in it. Please tell me you're going to dump out that coffee. Sean Cody acquired crab lice. From what? I hate it here. You can't just get crab lice from nothing. The lice was coming from inside the house. Wanderbread is on his way down to go watch bowling while completely nude. I love that Juan has no shame and no one's saying a word. Rebecca just looked like, I'm way too lesbian for this. Oh, now she notices booty cheeks. <laughs> Pride was successful for Rebecca, Sean, Abby, Juan, Kate, and Felicio. I'm glad that they all had a good time. Normally on the holidays, they have, uh, they have bad times. <laughs> Juan is still completely nude. Juan is so unbothered, and Juan is feeling very flirty. Hot and heavy at that. This is fine. I like that even his girlfriend isn't stopping him. She's like, I'm okay with this. I'm actually perfectly fine with this. Not sitting bare booty on the chair. You're going to get skid marks on it. Wiping his funky booty all over this. Look, Felicio's bothered by it. <laughs> Rebecca's bothered by it. Everyone's bothered by the casual nudity, sir, except for you. <laughs> I read online about this performer that plays at the flea market. Apparently, they're the next big thing. Want to come see if it's true? Why not? Let's bring some friends along. Look how good Wendy Wendy looks. Aw, oh, I've missed her. Very cute little stuff. Probably nothing I would buy. Oh, look at this. Oh, look. Hold on, wait. Can I buy these for the house? Look, it's Kiyoshi. Oh, look at Kiyoshi. Look at him go. I love that he's still performing out here after all these years of Shade House, that he's still out here at the flea market, performing his tunes, playing his music, singing his song. What if Kate Denson came out here and stole the spotlight? There's some festival food too. I don't eat sushi, but low key, this does look tasty. Abby B. Miller is having a tiny jam sesh. <laughs> Oh, 
Rebecca Moore said, stop immediately. <laughs> the woo! It was not good. Even Wonder Bread doesn't like it. Wonder Bread's like, you shouldn't give up your day job, babe. That was definitely a bad decision overall. Where is Shingo at? Open sim profile. Shingo Ikeda will be right over. Oh, right in front of all of these people. We're going to do a, a, a seated mount in front of all these people. Look at these poor ladies on the other side. They can hear it. Look, her lip is pouting about it. <laughs> ah! This woman came in to watch. She's like, ooh, Asuka's like, ooh, some woohoo. I'm going to go. If you boys see anything, a uh, condom or anything, let me know. All right, well, that was very fun. So Felicio still wants to become a master vampire. We should go research vampire stuff. How much is blood cost? How much does it cost to get a spooky robe for vampire-like things? Where could I learn to be a vampire? Phyllis discovered the Von Flavis Vampire Emporium while searching for vampires. He can now purchase the Encyclopedia Vampirica on the computer under Vampire Secrets. Let's purchase vampire tomes. Encyclopedia Vampirica. This is a really big part of his goals and who he wants to be. So we're going to go do that. And thankfully, because we already know someone who's been on Shade House, who has become a vampire successfully, we know exactly where to go to find someone. Wonder Bread is having a little drink. It's late at night. He's still considering his encounter earlier. And what he wants to do with his life, if he wants to tell Abby about it. Abby already knows. Abby is fully aware. She's she's playing it off like she doesn't know. She's looking at the computer search history. She's violently trying to figure out how to destroy her sim fast enough. Like how her boyfriend is destroying their relationship. Where is he? That's the one. She's like, look, Wonderbread, look at my city. I called it Abby and Juan, and look how I'm destroying it with the click of one button. All it takes is one mistake, and everything is ruined by meteor shower. Imagine what that would be like if something happened in our relationship. But you would never do that. You would never bring a tornado into our life, would you? Or destroy the streets and the roads that we've so desperately worked on over the last several years together. This has been a great episode of Shade House Bright Days. So Juan is experimenting, potentially cheating. We're not really sure. It was just a it was just a hangout. It was nothing right now, but the intention was there. So we'll see what ends up happening with that. Uh Sean Cody is definitely making some steps going forward. And Felicio is trying to make steps towards becoming a vampire, which is very cool. Uh, Kate is working on her fame perks, and she is going to try very hard to get up to the next level. So she's already investing in her future with that. And Rebecca Moore is slowly but surely just connecting with the others and making relationships, which is very cool to see because she didn't have a long run in the last season of Shade House. So the fact that she gets to try this all again and attempt a new circle of friends is very cool and I'm very grateful for her, that opportunity for her. But we will be back next week and we will finish up more of Fellatio's case with this string of investigations that they were doing last week. Thank you for watching another episode of Shade House Bright Days. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to click that like button. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Goodbye!